In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 3, you know, Calculator Questions 3 through 6. So still pretty early on in the section, so these are relatively straightforward questions. Problem 3. The formula below is, is often used by project managers to compute E, the estimated time to complete a job, where O is the shortest completion time, P is the longest completion time, M is the most likely completion time. Here's the equation. Which of the following gives P in terms of E, O, and M? And so I really wouldn't even pay attention to what these, these variables mean. And here's the, the question we have to just solve for P. We've seen this phrase before, P in terms of, we need to isolate P. So here's P. The first step is I'm gonna multiply both sides by six to clear this denominator. So we get six E equals O plus four M plus P. And now we're just going to subtract O and 4M to isolate P. And so then we get P equals 6E minus O minus 4M. And that's it. And the answer is A. All right, let's take a look at question number four. This is a geometry question, additional topics in math. In the figure above, RT equals TU, what's the value of X? So RT Here's our T and TU are equal. So right away you should recognize that this triangle is isosceles. So that means this angle equals this angle. And we have to find X. And so how do we get X? So, all right, let's start with this isosceles. Just focus on this big triangle, right? So we know that one angle is 114 where there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So these two have to be equal and add up to make the difference. And so we know that 180 minus 114, that is 66. And so each one of these is 33, all right? So this angle here is 33 and this angle here. So this is helpful because we now have another angle. If we could just get this one, we'd have a mini triangle, we could find X. So how do we get this angle here? We know that vertical angles are equal. Well, here we have a straight line. We know that supplementary angles equal 180, all right? So this is that 114. We know that this is 66. We have another triangle here. We have 31 and 66. We know that is 97. And so then to subtract 180 from that, we have 83, a little bit messy. So now we have this is 83. We know that vertical angles are equal. So we know that this angle here is 83 and we have now two of the three angles for this mini triangle. We have an 83 and a 33 and that is 111, 100 and 110, 116. So we subtract 116. This is no calculator, so just be careful with your arithmetic. And we then get 64, and that's it. The answer is C. All right, let's move back up to question number five. The width of rectangular dance floor is W feet. The length of the floor is six feet long in the width, which the following expresses the perimeter in feet of the dance floor in terms of W. All right, so let's start. We have a rectangle. You know, the perimeter is all four sides added together. And we have a relationship between the length and the width. We know the length of floor is six feet longer than the width. So length equals the width plus six. And so we're not gonna put an L in here for the length. We're just gonna put W plus six. All right, so even though this is L here, we're gonna put this W plus six because we want it in terms of W. This is also W plus six. And these are just the width, so it's just W. So that is what we have to do. We just add these up. So we've got four W's and we've got 12. And so the answer is B. All right, last question on this page. It is number six. Which of the following consists of the Y coordinates of all points that satisfy the system of inequalities? So we've got two different inequalities. We wanna satisfy it. The way to do this problem is, you see we have an, a 2x minus one here and just a 2x. You wanna make these the same and then we can compare both of them. And so what I mean by this is we have this first equation. We can take this second inequality and make it this, right? Always try to solve for what is given. 
And so what we can do is we can just subtract 1 to both sides. We get 2x minus 1 is greater than 4. So now we can compare, and I'm just going to copy the um, first equation here. So we've got y is greater than 2x minus 1. So you see how both of these are the same. This is almost sort of like the transitive property. If y is greater than 2x minus 1, and we have that same 2x minus 1 is greater than 4, we can say that y is greater than 4. And the answer here is b.